What is up everybody, welcome back to another video and today I have a really special one for you. I'm showing you my off-season routine in this episode and I'm just going to be showing you everything that I do today to prepare for uh, high school tryouts and just to get better in general. So uh, right now it's like 7.28 in the morning, I've been up since 7 o'clock and I'm just going to um, do a little uh, foam roll stretch and then I'm going to do a little ball mastery workout and a little passing and receiving in a court workout and then I'll tell you what we're going to do after that and plans for the rest of the day. But yeah, I've just been up. I had a clementine, brushed my teeth, did all that. But um, yeah, now I'm ready and we'll get right into it. So I'll see you guys there. Alright, so I just finished that foam roll, the uh, little stretching routine, so I'm feeling pretty good. So now I'm going to get into, um, just do some light, little juggling, like, maybe like five minutes. And then I'm going to get straight into this all attack, um, kind of like fast feet ball mastery workout for like ten minutes. And then after that, I'm just going to do some light pass and receiving stuff. Um, and then I'm going to finish off, finish it off with a core a very 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 small core routine it's good but it's not super long but it's still really good it's one i came up with and i really like it so i'll show you guys all that and uh yeah i'll see you there Alright everyone, so I just finished that little technical session with the ball mastery and the uh, passing and receiving and also a little bit of juggling. Really good. I like that stuff because, you know, it's only like about like 30 minutes, maybe just under 30 minutes and you get so many touches on the ball and you can really sharpen up and improve that touch. So that's why I like that stuff. But right now I'm going to get into a core workout. So I'm going to show you guys exercises so you can do this one if you want and basically work and one exercise for the upper abs, one for the lower, one for the obliques and then we finish with a plank for some stability. So I'm going to show you guys exercises so you can do it as well. Right, guys just finished everything it's like 8 21 in the morning right now as you can see got a good sweat in uh, i'm gonna go have breakfast and show you what i'm gonna have and it's really good you may have seen it before but if not i'm gonna show you again so i'll see you there all right so here is breakfast we got our sunny side eggs fried i did a tutorial on that on how to make these if you want to learn more about that and see that video i'll put that in the description and also we have 
my world famous oatmeal here today with raspberries and blackberries if you want to learn how to make any of this stuff let me know i can do a video on this because this is really good but yeah i'm gonna down this and i'm gonna drink that water right there and i'll catch you all later all right guys so right now it's 9 41 in the morning and i just finished breakfast and so i just want to tell you guys what the plan is for the rest of the day so basically at 11 uh with fall sports at my high school we have time in the weight room some of the plan is to go there at 11 get the lifting session in for an hour with our strength and conditioning coach he'll do everything lead it it's usually really good and then after that i want to stay there and get a good run in on the track uh two miles is what i'll be doing so after that run two miles on the track and then yeah and then we were supposed to have team training tonight with uh my team the same team i went to north carolina with playing with them in our summer league but we don't have that tonight so i'm probably gonna either get in a training session with one of my friends or like get a pickup game in or something or if not then um then i'll just go outside and do a session by myself because i already did this little technical stuff this morning that was very good but i definitely want to get some striking of the ball in and more you know position specific stuff and that sort of thing get the fitness in and get the time in the weight room in but right now i'm just right now i'll show you what i'm doing so i'm just like icing my knees and my ankle because my ankle i got an ankle contusion in one of my games so it's been kind of sore sometimes when i do ball mastery the joints like the knees and the ankles they kind of hurt sometimes so i like to ice them i think it's just good for recovery it's kind of like an ice bath but like just on certain points of the body which will help me for the weight room and the run. And then I'm just watching ESPN FC. I'm going to chill here for a little bit, digest. And yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm at the weight room. And I'll let you know if we're doing anything else or if I'm doing anything else. But yeah, so I'll see you guys later. up everybody i just came back from the weight room as you can see i'm here at the school it was pretty good we worked on like some stability explosiveness strength obviously doing really good exercises i really enjoyed it just one hour in there so much you can get done but anyway now i'm walking up on this sidewalk here up to the track and i'm gonna get in this two mile run uh, my mom said she was gonna meet me and then we're gonna play tennis after because I also play tennis if you didn't know. Now you know, but uh I don't know if she's coming, but we'll see. But yeah, I mean honestly not really looking forward too much to the two mile run, not really my favorite thing. But I just wanna get it over with, get it done. I'll be stronger for it and I know I know that definitely, but um just hoping to get a good time, you know, anywhere under 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Anywhere under that while running the whole time, feeling good, feeling strong, good breathing, good form, and I'll be happy. So, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can set up like a little time lapse with that for the run, but I may not be able to. I'll see how the view looks. But anyway, I'll see you later. Hi, right, everybody. I just finished the run out there on the track. Man, as you could tell, absolutely knackered. Probably not the best idea do it right after the gym because I was a little tired but it makes me stronger from it so it's all good it was hot out there but I was really proud of myself to run didn't stop kept going the full way through um got good time to about like 640 miles so I was like just over 1330 so it wasn't bad that definitely, we need to definitely get that time down every week. Get it down by like 10 seconds or so. We'll be in great shape. I want to definitely get it down to 12 minutes before uh, before tryouts because last year I was at 12:30, so that would be a good improvement. Um, but it's definitely gonna be harder this year with the heat. Last year we didn't have to run in you know the middle of summer, but still, you know. I can I definitely think I can do it and I just gotta keep pushing. Keep thriving, fighting through the pain, you know. Running is not easy. I definitely don't like it, but I just 
go out there, I say. No, not everyone wants to do it, but you can do it. You go, you keep pushing. If you feel like stopping, just tell yourself you're a machine, keep going. And you know, when you're done, you just get a great feeling of accomplishment. And you know, the more you do it, the easier it gets. It's one of those things you just gotta keep doing consistently. And you know, I'm still new to it, I'm still improving, like every other aspect of my life. And I'm just gonna keep getting better. There's only one way to go, really, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good. So I'm just gonna have a quick protein bar now. And then my mom is walking right now on the track. And then we're gonna go over to the courts, hit some tennis balls. Don't know how good I'm gonna be because I'm pretty tired. And then hopefully when we get back to the house, I get a meal on me and then see how I feel and then maybe go out tonight. And, um, you know, I'll get a good session and you know, striking the ball and focusing on that stuff and have some fun, but yeah, definitely tired, but I'm happy, you know, still a long way to go, but we're taking those steps in the right direction, and that's, you know, that's not many people can do that, to go out there and achieve their goals every day, and I'm happy that I'm able to, and yeah, it's my responsibility to try, so I'm gonna keep doing it, but anyway, I'll see you guys later, and yeah, see you when I see you. Alright everybody, so it's almost 5 o'clock right now, so basically I get home at around 2.40, just drank the rest of my shake, kind of digested, chill around, did some Duolingo, just played some FIFA, talked to my grandparents and nothing too crazy. I'm probably not going to go to the field today because I'm feeling a little tired and I just kind of want to recover and pace myself throughout the, the week because... You know, I don't have team training this week, which is good good because I can train a little harder and go do some more cardio and stuff like that. So that's what I did today. I want to do more cardio, get in the weight room, and do the little technical session. So doing three things. And then tomorrow, we're actually doing speed and agility on the turf. And then before I go, I'm going to get an upper body workout in. And then later at night, we have like a little like pickup game. So basically every day this week I'm going to be doing cardio, so Wednesday will be similar to today, and then Tuesday and Thursday we'll have the speed and agility, which is a good form of cardio, works on those like quick sprints, not so much the long, kind of like working on your lung capacity stuff, and then when you're pacing as well, on Friday I'm going to do man use, so I want to make sure I'm pacing myself, make sure I'm ready for all that, it's going to be really intense, it's going to be good though, so... Yeah, that's why I'm not probably gonna go to the field today. But right now, I'm just gonna get my um, foam roll, a little stretch in that I did this morning, watch some TV, and then after, I'm going to go have some food, which I'll show you what I'm gonna make there, and then I'm gonna play probably some FIFA, watch some the TV, and ice my legs, so just like I did this morning, and then I'll show you everything throughout the way. I'm not gonna show you the foam roll, because you already saw that, but I'll show you everything else. But uh. Yeah, so that's the plan, and uh, I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, so it's 5.35 right now. That stretching routine there took around 30 minutes um, because I did something extra, which I want to show you. I used this little, like, yellow ball here, and I kind of, like, worked this into, like, my, um, my stomach here and, like, my back as well because I get kind of cramps a lot when I run. Um like I had today, so I want you to just work those out and kind of like real massage those muscles and also a little bit on the back too, getting a good deeper stretch. It's kind of like a lacrosse ball, but it's, I guess, like a medical one. So yeah, it's good for getting into those nice like spots on your stomach, but also if you, you know, have spots on your legs that like really hurt, like really pushing it and can really help. But anyway, right now I'm gonna go eat and I'm gonna show you what I'm about to have. All right guys, so I just finished chefing it up in the kitchen and what we have here is we got an apple and i have some this little like dip here for the apple and what it is it's basically protein powder yogurt and some peanut butter and yeah it's really good but there's you know certain way i do it so it's the perfect kind of ratios i can show you guys how to make that if you want leave a comment below and let me know but yeah i'm gonna eat this and i'll catch up with you all later
so the final steps for the day we have 13,433 and uh, I'll tell you my calories burned in a second is 3,159 don't know how accurate that is but it's definitely a lot uh, but yeah anyway it's like just past 7 right now probably gonna drink a little more water I'm basically at a gallon right now if you count the smoothie and the little gate area that I had as well and then I'm just gonna watch uh, Brazil and Peru and yeah just chill for the rest of the night get to bed around 9 30 and um, do it all again tomorrow although tomorrow I'm just gonna change a little for my cardio we're gonna do some speed and agility on the turf uh, improving those like quick change the direction that speed agility and acceleration that I need and uh, I'm gonna be in my gym down here doing a little upper body session before that and then we have a pickup game later uh, in the night and probably get there a little early and do some finishing work before the game but uh, and also obviously watching the Euros because that's gonna be really good but um, yeah it's been a good day one step closer to achieving my goals and um yeah thank you guys for watching make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed it let me know what you want to see next time uh if you have any suggestions too let me know any suggestions make sure you subscribe it really helps me out and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time